Jeopardy's Ken Jennings has admitted he prefers mean tweets after a brief conversation with a fan on Twitter. Ken, 49, entered a conversation with a viewer who had been tweeting at another actor at the time. Ken replied to someone who had been speaking to actor Josh Molina, who had just called someone an idiot on X, formerly known as Twitter. That person replied, Wow. I used to enjoy your posts, but, lately, more and more of them seem mean just to be mean. This is where Ken jumped in. He wrote, I actually prefer the mean tweets, you may break even on this. Another follower chimed in, this explains so much about you. Ken is typically known for some of his snarkier social media replies. Many of them aren't exactly kind, and see followers feeling disrespected. But Ken is usually saying what he does in good fun. Recently, Ken lost his cool after a contestant confessed that at first he instantly rejected the game show's phone call to return. The Jeopardy! Host turned to the camera in a desperate plea for people to pick up the phone. Former champion Ken, 49, is hosting a two-and-a-half-month champions wildcard tournament. The special kicked off on Monday, inviting back one, two, and three-time winners from season 37 and 38. Joe Feldman, a technology professional from Bethesda, Maryland, faced Amanda Gansk, a product marketing manager from Austin, Texas, and Brendan Sargent a small business owner originally from Worcester, Massachusetts. During Thursday's interview segment, Ken turned to Joe, a former two-day champion, to ask when he got the call to return. Please call U.S. Ken began, when it came time to get you back on this competition, we had some difficulties, right? Joe admitted, I was sitting at my office, unknown number, you know what that means instant reject. I started reading the transcript in my voicemail, and it was hit and miss. The words were gargled, but the word jeopardy did come through correctly. So I was able to call back and work everything out. Ken turned to the camera and said, I guess the moral at home is if you get a crazy gargled voicemail with just the word jeopardy. The host's expression morphed into a wide-eyed stare, please call us. We're trying to find you. Fans react, really? Jeopardy! Contestants send producers five topics they can be asked during the interview portion. Fans on Reddit were bothered that the story was selected since some people wait decades to get on Jeopardy. One person wrote in a thread, I'm surprised the show considers I screen calls from unknown numbers, so there was a brief delay before the Jeopardy. Team got in touch with me such a riveting story that they've chosen it to be featured so many times now. Nothing against the contestants, who are obviously being given limited prompts, but it seems to me that much of the life has been drained from the interview segments this season. Another fan wrote, Isn't there a way to have Jeopardy! show up in recipients' caller ID? I realize scammers are able to do that, but at least prospective contestants would know to take the call. A third wrote, Do the casting folks not reach out via text and or email as well? Is it really only a phone call? A contestant last month also told Ken he ignored three calls from Jeopardy. As it was an unknown number and he's a classic millennial. Would it kill you to pick up the phone, the host exclaimed then. Scores going into final Jeopardy were extremely close, with Brendan at $15,800, Amanda, who only bet $3,000 on the last daily double, at $11,000, and Joe at $12,800. Final Jeopardy. Under Global Geology Red, in this nation of 360,000 people. Only Joe was correct with Iceland, adding $10,000 with $22,800 and looking happy enough to advance but certainly not thrilled. In a surprising twist that left fans buzzing, Ken Jennings, the beloved Jeopardy! champion and now solo host, recently confessed that he actually prefers the mean tweets about him. This revelation, paired with the absence of Mayim Bialik as co-host, has sparked a wave of discussions among viewers and critics alike, making Jennings the face of the iconic quiz show in a new era. Jennings' admission came during a candid interview with a major entertainment outlet. Known for his calm demeanor and sharp intellect, Jennings has always been a fan favorite. His stint as a guest host following Alex Trebek's passing was met with widespread acclaim. However, the shift from co-hosting with Mayim Bialik to taking on the role solo has introduced a fresh layer of scrutiny and public feedback.
Honestly, Jennings began with a chuckle, I think I prefer the mean tweets. There's something oddly reassuring about them. They're like a test, a measure of how well I'm doing in my new role. They remind me that people care, even if it's in a negative way. Jennings' reaction to the negativity was met with a mixture of surprise and admiration. Fans of Jeopardy! have grown accustomed to his affable personality and intellectual prowess, so the idea that he finds a silver lining in criticism is both intriguing and refreshing. It also highlights a different side of Jennings, one that is resilient and embraces challenges with an open heart. The transition to hosting Jeopardy! without Bialik has undoubtedly been a significant shift for the show. Mayim Bialik, a former neuroscientist turned actress, had shared hosting duties with Jennings for some time, bringing her own unique charm and perspective to the show. Her absence has left a noticeable gap, with Jennings now shouldering the full responsibility of leading the show. When asked about Bialik's absence, Jennings was candid yet respectful. Mayim brought her own flavor to the show, he acknowledged. Her departure leaves a space that can't be easily filled. But it's a new chapter for me, and I'm excited about the opportunity to give my all to this incredible show. Jennings' solo hosting debut has been marked by a combination of nostalgia and innovation. He's brought back familiar elements that fans loved during Trebek's tenure while also infusing the show with a modern twist. Jennings' approach has been to honor the legacy of the show while making it his own, a balancing act that has garnered mixed reviews. The main tweet's confession, however, sheds light on Jennings' approach to criticism and public perception. It's a reminder that even the most celebrated figures are not immune to scrutiny and that their reactions can offer deeper insights into their character. Jennings' ability to turn what many might view as a negative into a positive speaks volumes about his resilience and commitment to his role. In the realm of social media, the mean tweets phenomenon has become a cultural touchstone. Public figures often face harsh criticism online, and Jennings' reaction to it underscores a broader trend where negativity can be embraced and used as a source of motivation. This shift in attitude is part of a larger narrative about how public figures navigate the complexities of fame in the digital age. As Jennings continues to lead Jeopardy! solo, the show itself is undergoing a period of transition. The absence of Bialik has opened the door for Jennings to establish a new dynamic with the audience. It's an opportunity for him to redefine the show's tone and direction. 